Man, I don't want to go to work. Why do I have to do this stupid job in the first place? I mean, I'm living a life of luxury out here in this field house. Why do I gotta go to work? Well, you know, I mean, I need the money. <laughs> need the money. <laughs> Definitely need the money. Uh, who is that? Get back to work now. Who the hell are you, kid?
Should I shoot? Should I not? Should I shoot? Should I not? What should I do? Mutt. <sighs> Glad that's over. Ugly Mutt stud. There are more than one. What? Who said that? What are they doing at my house? These must be the new robots or something. Because 
I would like to use human resources to make the robots unique and smarter. I can't stand it. My brother worked here before, and he got his brain cut open. And they took some cells of his brain and used it in the robot to make it smarter. But God, you gotta help me take him down. Next night I'll call you. straight to business. The reason why the robots look so human-like is because they take the skin of their dead employers and use it as their main skeleton. Crazy to believe nobody said anything about that yet, right? I got new info that a new robot is coming tomorrow. This might be a freebie, at least I think that's what they said. So keep your eyes peeled. They reduced the amount of cameras, so there shouldn't be that many locations to watch. Good luck. <laughs> I love enjoying the time. Just look at the view. That's incredible. I know, right? Who could think we'd get such nice seats? Man, I love being off on this type of day. You know, we get to enjoy the beauty. Hey, what is that glaring light over there? You see that? Yeah, it's pretty strange. I wonder what that could be. It's probably nothing. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh! Mason's dead! MY SON! I wish this shift would just end already, God. It's taking such a long time for no reason, too. Like, what the hell? It's absolutely unacceptable. Oh no. It's probably nothing. What the fuck? 
What happened to the lights? Probably gotta go and fix them. Damn it. Not again. <sighs> Let's see. Power box. Hmm. Of course. Gotta go outside and fix this bullshit again. Ah. Are you the friendly one? Yes, people. How can I fix it today? Are you trying to fix the break again? Oh, uh, yeah, how'd you know? That's the only thing I would never tell you you're not. Behind you and your ARC door, that's what the fuck it is. Alright, thank you. Behind your scene, I'm done. Oh, boy. Let's do this. No. There we go, I think that's fixed. Alright, there we go. I have no idea how that picture of Donald Trump got there, but, you know, we just live and learn. Let's go. Oh, the guy's gone. Okay. Uh, not like that's out of the ordinary or anything. Let's just go back inside and do our work. Feel more comfortable in there than anywhere else. That's just the way it is. Go. Nice lights back on. Let's get back to watching this video. What the frick was that? <laughs> what? Whose sniper rifle is that? Oh shit. Um Hello? <gasps> oh, the legends were true. You're the real stalker. What are you Whoa. Calm down. Don't shoot me, please. Because if you do, I'll die. I'm here looking for one specific man. What is his name? Uh... I don't know. His name starts with... J? A J? Don't know what you're talking about. I'm looking for a man. Where is he? Don't know what you mean, dude. Bring him to me now, or else you die. What? Uh, who? Huh. You actually forgot. I'm looking for you, scumbag. Now come with me, or work, or die. Uh, I actually like my job, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep working. That is not an option. You must come with me now. Why would you list that as an option if I can't choose it? You need to come with me now. Why? Because I said so. Do not make me ask again. But dude, I don't only see the, the big deal. Whoa! Oh! Hold your fire! Hold your fire, dude! No. Don't. Break. The desk.
What magical computer? Listen, I will ask you one more time. Come with me or die. Ah, uh, no can do, man. Sorry about that. You leave me with no choice. What do you mean? Because I got this right here. Yeah, you heard the man. This is our turf. Get the hell out of here. Listen, if you guys keep get out this us, we're gonna have to kick your ass. I ain't gonna do shit, little boy. All right, bet let's prove it right now. Then let's go. Run your one, little nigga. Let go. One can earn the turf, then I will. Listen, guys, bring the ball over here. Bring the ball over here. There isn't even a ball, dumbass. Who are you calling dumb? There ain't even a fucking basketball court. Exactly, dumbass. You know what? Fuck you. No one can play fair on the basketball court? Then I will. Check this out. This is so frustrating! Why are they fighting each other for no reason? This doesn't make any sense! I've taught my men... I've taught my men well enough! This is getting out of control! Jesus Christ! Sir, I've gained some useful insight on why this may be happening. Go ahead, spit your case. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, sir, I think they're fighting over turf. They're arguing over whose turf looks better on their side. And it's all based down to the environment, they say. But I, I, th I think otherwise, because I think any color that you wear, it doesn't really matter, because you're still you. And you're still in, in the region that, like, it doesn't matter. Like, my outfit does not correlate to this area, region, environment at all. And yet, I'm thriving. I'm living, baby. You see what I mean, Stalker? If you give me inaccurate results, one more time. No, I swear. Right, guys? I'm not lying, right? Who are you talking to? There's a... There's a... Never mind. Look, I swear, I'm not, like, lying to you. I swear. Honest to Jesus. You've made me more mad than the Rorty is to be mad. Say goodnight. No, 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 listen, listen. Dude, I swear, right guys? Who is guys? There's nobody there. I can't have any schizophrenic members on my team. Wait, no! I'm not schizophrenic! Now I need to watch for more evil people. <laughs> Man, there's nothing to do. God, it's so boring in here. I'm gonna put Donald Trump on my wall. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that.
Excuse me, all units, be advised. We must not let this executed mission go fail. No, we must not let this executed mission go fail. Anybody in here? Come out with your hands up. I will come out with your hands up. Oh shit. It's the fucking federal agents. They've come to take me. God damn it. What the hell was that? Checking you out, over. Hey! Stop! Don't move! Put those hands up now. I want to see hands. Put those hands up. That's not putting your hands up. Put your hands up now. If you don't put your hands up, I will have to open fire. Why, though? Because you're not following my authority. You don't gotta yell about it. Ask me politely. Can you put your hands up? Uh, nah. Sorry, mate. If you walk out that door, you're dead. Sorry. Not sorry. I live. Holy shit. How did I actually live? Ah, fuck. Stop running. You have nowhere to hide. Stop running and give yourself up. Never! Ah! <laughs> is this where the elevator is? Hey! Come catch me if you can, sucker! There's only one way we can get you out of this. Uh, what does he mean by that? Never mind, never mind. Open the door. I need this guy alive. Get out What? What do you want me to do? Get up here now. It's really hard to get up there, hope you know that. I think it's time to put this on the on the end. You know, it's been really fun working here. I leave in like one or two minutes, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting ready to leave early. It's been really fun working here. You know, 
All these amazing things I got to see. Oh boy, and that federal agent chasing me. Man, the, the fun times, I tell you that. Just gotta wait for this clock to go and then I'll be ready to bust up on out of here. Just gotta keep on waiting. Right behind you. Huh? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I'm glad you could make it. This reminds me of good old times, yes? Remember Jimmy? His attic was the perfect place. And it still is the perfect place. Nothing can replace his attic. Nothing! What the hell? Where am I, man? What do you mean? Jimmy, who is that? I'm glad you asked. Jimmy is one of my favorite victims. He's done a lot for me. You know, I get very bored on who I choose to... to, uh, to hunt. <laughs> you, do, you, you do not know much about me, but... I've sent my agent after you because, unfortunately, you are more special than Jimmy. Jimmy, he just can't die. But you, you possess powers far more than my mind can comprehend. I think we should join forces together. What do you say? I have scanned you, and you seem to be above human level. You are a supernatural human being. Now that is very rare. Nobody is normally like that. I don't care who I am to you, just let me get the hell out of my seat! What is this?! GET ME OUT OF HERE! Da, da, da. You're not allowed to leave yet. Now listen. I understand that you are very frustrated that you are being restrained in that chair of yours. But listen, it is for safety reason. Now, you, you are more powerful than Jimmy, unfortunately. But Jimmy, he's a very good guy on his own. He doesn't need your, your powers to be better than you. The only thing he needs is a better attitude, I'll tell you that. Anyway, you possess powers that are kind of similar to mine. You have the great sixth sense. You can prevent, uh, like you can see into the future. You have future eyes. What I mean by that is, let's say somebody was going to swat through the roof right about now. You would know when that was going to happen. I'm surprised you didn't do anything when I was behind you, sneaking up on you, putting that knife through your skull. Now, the only thing that's different is you can also revive yourself. Not surprising at all. Not surprising at all. I knew you could do something so, so unbelievable like, like that. I don't care what I'm capable of. Just get me out of here, out of this seat. Listen, I'm trying to explain lore. Don't you love lore? The information of the story? I have plot armor. I cannot be killed. I cannot be removed from the plot. Jimmy and Marcus has plot armor as well. You see, I'm currently just breaking the fourth wall. Not talking to you. I can now see why that other guy I was talking about earlier. What other guy? Don't worry about it. Anyway. I'm, I'm so sad that you have to be st restrained in the chair. I could trust Jimmy because he likes to talk and negotiate. You, you, I don't know what they're capable of yet. But I'm truly, I'm, I'm going to find out soon enough. You would leave me no choice. But to, um, listen, this is a very serious deal, okay? I am going to give you a big proposition. If you promise to not lay hands on me, I will let you get out of that chair. And I promise you, 
it'll be a very good uh, proposition. I don't care. Just get me out of here. No, no, no. It's not that easy to yell at me and just be a little baby bitch. You have to at least comply. Fuck you. No, no. Don't you know what the Russians are capable of? I have a lot of things up my sleeve that you are not even aware of. I have power you could never imagine. And you just think you can be your own boss? In my world? This is my world you're living in. If you think you can just walk around and roam in it, rent free, you are mistaken, my friend. <laughs> you are mistaken. Unfortunately, our time cuts short. No more lore, no more plot armor. Okay, I don't even know your name yet. You see, Jimmy Cron, Marcus Delaware, I know them very well. You? I don't even know your first letter name. What is your name? I know it is hard to remember, so take your time. I think I know my name. Well, what is your name? I think it's George. Nope, not your name. How can you tell me what my own name is? Because I know it's not fit for you. Choose another name. <laughs> I think I found my name. What is your name? Berkeley. Berkeley. That is a good name. I like that name. That is now your new name, Berkeley. We've been standing here for three minutes. I think it's time to go. Now listen, my friend. It is a very, very nice chance to meet you, Berkeley. I must go now. Wait! One more thing. You forgot about the lights. Oh, very scary. <laughs> I can still see you, by the way. You're not very slick when it comes to things like... <gasps> I see, I know you're behind me. I know you're behind me. You're not very slick. Very good at this. Now, put that sniper rifle down. Put it down now, Berkeley. You think you can just tie me to a chair and I will forget about it? Nah. I'm gonna let that slide. Oh yeah, that's right. That's exactly how you win a game. Uh, it was pretty weird that the game ended with me in it. Must have been some type of special DLC or something. How'd that guy know my name anyway? How'd that Russian guy know my name is Berkeley? How am I playing without a keyboard and mouse? Uh, you know, technology. Got a spare monitor over there on that table, you know, just... Living the life of luxury! Oh yeah! What the fuck? Oh shit! The antagonist is real! I had no idea! Wow, what are you doing here, dude? Thank mm -hmm. you.